Hi everyone, today's headlines. Chief Minister Nifirio wishes students for HSLC and HSSLC exams. 20 houses gutted by fire at Mon and properties worth rupees 65 lakhs lost. Kidnap employee of Cupa Oil intercepted at Lungwa in Nagaland. COVID affecting children more than in first wave. India administers over 8 crore COVID-19 vaccine doses. News in details. Chief Minister Nifirio wishes students for HSLC and HSSLC exams. The Chief Minister Nifirio extended best wishes to all the students who will be writing HSLC and HSSLC examination under Nagaland Board of School Education. The HSSLC examination 2021 will commence from April 6, 2021 till April 29, 2021. And HSLC examination 2021 will start from April 7, 2021 till April 21, 2021. Rio further urged the students to stay focused, be confident and give your best. Make God bless you with good health and I hope you excel in your exams," the Chief Minister tweeted. 20 houses gutted by fire at Mon and properties worth Rs 65 lakh lost. The fire and emergency services yesterday reported two incidents of domestic fire at Mon which burned down 20 houses and household belongings and properties worth approximately Rs 65 lakhs were lost in the inferno. Meanwhile, the Assam Rifles in Nagaland extended assistance to civil administration in dosing the fire in Todak Mon and also provided basic essential to the villagers who lost their house in the fire accident during early hours of Sunday, informed a social media update from Assam Rifles. Kidnap employee of Cupa Oil intercepted at Lungwa in Nagaland. Assam Rifles patrol intercepted Mr. Ram Kumar, an employee of Cupo Oil at Lungwa in Nagaland on Monday, April 5, 2021, while crossing India Myanmar border after three months of being abducted. He is the second employee of Cupo Oil kidnapped by ULFA first on December 21, 2020, Spear Corps informed. Ram Kumar, a resident of Bihar, was released on Myanmar side of Lungwa village after 108 days and further intercepted by Assam Rifle Borders Domination Patrol at Lungwa village in Mon district of Nagaland yesterday. COVID affecting children more than in first wave. As India reported more than 1 lakh daily coronavirus cases for the first time, several state and union territories including Maharashtra, Punjab and Delhi have announced closure of schools or suspended classes briefly till the COVID-19 situation is further reviewed in the wake of rising cases across the country. Unlike in the past, children are now vulnerable because schools have reopened for certain age groups. All India Institute of Medical Science Delhi G Director Dr. Randeep Guleri in an interview with NDTV said that the second wave of COVID-19 is infecting kids more. He further said that it is likely that there is a variant that is causing the virus to be more infectious and this is what needs to be backed by the data. India administers over 8 crore COVID-19 vaccine doses. The cumulative number of anti-coronavirus vaccine doses administered in the country has crossed 8 crore, has crossed 8 crore, the Union Health Ministry said on Monday. Eight states, Maharashtra, Gujarat, Rajasthan, Uttar Pradesh, West Bengal, Karnataka, Madhya Pradesh and Kerala account for 60% of the cumulative vaccine doses given till morning. Meanwhile, the ministry said Maharashtra, Chhattisgarh, Karnataka, Uttar Pradesh, Delhi, Tamil Nadu, Madhya Pradesh and Punjab have shown a steep rise in daily COVID-19 cases according for 81.9% of the 1,3558 new cases reported in a span of 24 hours. A net increase of 50,233 cases has been recorded in the total active caseload in the span of 24 hours. That's all for now. To get this latest news, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you.